You know, when you think about it, 3D gaming is a bit of a misnomer. Sure, in many modern titles, your character is moving around a three-dimensional space as opposed to the side-scrollers of yesteryear, but at the end of the day, we're gaming on flat, two-dimensional monitors. Unless you happen to have one of those newfangled curved displays, but you know what I mean. Showing a 3D image on a 2D display has long been an issue. Think, for example, about looking at a flat map of the world on Google Maps, which uses a map projection that makes landmasses near the North and South Pole look way bigger than they actually are, because translating a 3D sphere, the Earth, onto a 2D monitor, or map, is an imperfect process. Somewhat similarly, your PC's graphics card has to project portions of 3D objects onto your screen a certain way so that they appear to have the correct perspective and depth just as real-life objects do. Computers do quite a good job of this in most modern games if you're only rocking a single monitor setup. But if you're running three monitors where the two displays on the side are tilted toward you, you may have noticed that some of your games look distorted and skewed on the side monitors. To understand the reason for this, it can help to visualize your GPU as a projector behind a set of translucent screens. If all three of them are lined up straight on one plane, the image will look correct. But setting up your monitors like this takes up a ton of space and limits your field of view. So most people tilt their two side monitors inward. But this would make a hypothetical projector display a stretched, incorrect image on those same end displays. Enter Simultaneous Multi-Projection, or SMP, a new GPU technology featured on NVIDIA's new GeForce 10 series that alleviates this problem by essentially showing a different camera angle on each screen. Going back to our projector analogy, this is like having a separate projector behind each screen instead of just one for your entire setup, ensuring that the shapes and objects look realistic instead of like poorly constructed Play-Doh models. But Terran. Doesn't that mean that my GPU has to render the same screen three different times? Won't that kill my frame rates and make my $600 graphics card next to useless? Actually, most of the really heavy rendering of things like geometry and lighting are done only once. After that, the multiple projections are created by using simple transforms that clip or squeeze the stuff that has already been rendered, which is much less compute intensive. So you won't see a big dip in frame rates. Yes. The current version of the tech supports up to 16 different projections, so you can have good looking visuals even if you have some sort of monstrous monitor arrangement. A similar concept is used to push two slightly different projections to each lens of a VR headset so that the 3D effect looks correct. Technologies that NVIDIA is calling single pass stereo and lens matched shading that compensate for the fact that there are two lenses and the fact that the lenses are curved instead of planar. And if you've noticed that I keep talking about NVIDIA, that's because right now SMP is only a thing on their new GTX 1080 and 1070 on supported games. However, as VR headsets and surround gaming become more popular, I wouldn't be surprised to see something similar on AMD cards in the near future, especially with their new Polaris architecture right around the corner. So like the North Star, hopefully SMP and related technologies can point you towards a more immersive gaming experience if you just can't get enough screens in your battle station. Speaking of screens, Massdrop has another one of their pretty killer deals going on today. The LG 34UM 57 34 inch ultra wide free sync monitor, I hope I said that correctly, is currently available over there at an exclusive low price. This monitor not only features FreeSync technology to prevent screen tearing in your favorite games, but also has an IPS display for greater color accuracy, four screen split so you can output an image from multiple devices at once, and black level stabilization to help light up dark scenes. Of course, this product is available only through MassDrop at the significantly discounted price, thanks to their group buy model. Essentially, the more people buy, the more the price goes down to a set minimum, with its minimum price being just under 30% below the MSRP. You can check out this drop and many others at the link in the description, draw.ps/techquiggy. So head over there now if you're interested. That link doesn't give us a kickback or anything, but it does let them know that we sent you. Got it. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you disliked it, and leave a comment if you want to leave a comment.
Uh, make sure to get subscribed if you aren't already. And go ahead and check out some of our other videos that we've got linked up wherever. You know, check out uh, maybe some Channel Super Fun if you, if you like fun things. And uh, we'll see you next time. Whatever. <laughs>